Hey guys, Mike Box here, aka Ian. Tonight I'm staying in Glasgow City Centre at the Yotel Hotel again. However, uh, it's a different room. It's a, another type of room they do called the Triple Room, which has a bunk bed and double bed. And I'm just going to take a little tour, not a review, but a tour of the room. So you can have a look inside the room, what it has to offer, and the view as well. If you haven't seen my other Yotel reviews, not type of, not really reviews, but stays, but videos of the room, then I'll link them down below in the description box. But let's start off by having a look at this triple room here in Glasgow City Centre at the Yotel Hotel. So, starting at the front door, as soon as you walk in, you will be straight into your room. So, I have my bag and my shoes sitting there just now. Got some shelving there, hanging space there as well. I turn around, look into the room. Here you have the bed, the bunk bed, which I will walk up those steps shortly and have a look. TV, then the kind of wet room area. You've got the shower, toilet and the sink and some more hanging space etc but as soon as you walk in I'm going to move my shoes just now out of the way and you've got a little mini fridge here not a huge space but great for an overnight or two stay put my shoes back the bed the bed has always been comfortable when I've stayed at the hotel hotel so never never an issue I love these beds because you can adjust the backs on them. Do you see that going up and down? Well, that was up and that's going down to lie flat. Here you have the book light, you see me on the camera mirror, but you have this light here as well. So you can read the newspaper in bed. Over here, TV. Says welcome to Glasgow. Here you can change the kind of mood lighting. So you can scroll your finger around. I believe. Oh, what am I doing wrong here? There you go. Just keep going round and round. See what colour it stops at. And choose your mood. These little ducats here, you can hold your drinks in them, or phones or anything like that. Charging wise you've got just next to the light and the bed, so you've got the phone for reception, you've got a double socket and USB point there next to the bed in this room. Plenty of space under the bed as well, so you can throw in bags and shopping out of the way there as well. This little shelf pulls down. Again, so you can put food, drink, etc. on this little fold down table. There used to be a chair, like a fold out chair that sat in here. I don't think they're available now, unless you ask the reception possibly, but my last day, we never had that that chair either. So let's take a little walk up these. It's a great size, a single bunk bed, and over there you have a single socket with a USB point as well. So another. Great use of space, which these hotels do, in my opinion. And into the kind of wet room area, you do have another shelf at the top there with some towels. Here you have some hangers and hanging space, ironing board. You get hair dryer and iron. Also have a safe. And the further in we go, we have. 
sink, more towels, more shelving, some space below there as well. Here you have a, a bottle opener on the wall, some glasses, some tissues, shaver, socket, power outlet. I've changed the brand from last time, that's what's this one, this is our Urban Jungle Hand and Body Wash and Hand and Body Cream And then a nice mirror there as well, I think that's the little button there to put the light on Get me in the mirror there as well Turn that back off again This is the view, not a great view, let's be honest That's really it for the view. Two types of blinds, so manual blinds to turn turn these down at night time. So kind of blackout blind and a mesh blind. There as well, so you need to turn those chains around to lower them. I'll put them back up again. Toilet area. Frosted glass. Plus the like a manual blind there as well. And then shower. So you've got the handheld shower there, and you've got the overhead ceiling recessed shower. The showers are always amazing on all the stays that I've had at Yotel Hotel, and hopefully it's the same today and tomorrow. So fantastic use of space in my opinion in this room. TV wise so you, you can select your language, you get TV and radio, you can Chromecast, you check the weather, you can also, not too sure what this is, so it says there launch the hotel app to download your smart key. Alright, there you go. So you can Download that on the app to get your smart key. Also this as well, we've got obviously these hang outside your your door if you don't want to be disturbed. They're also saying skip housekeeping and we'll give you a voucher for five pounds to spend in Vega during your stay. So we've got a Vega uh, kind of bar in the hotel. They've also got a bowling alley in this hotel as well, which is something different. That's the, the aircon and the heating control. For some reason that light never works in a hotel hotel that I've been staying at. That's why it's a bit dark in here just now. That's an adjoining room, so that's if you had an adjoining room, that would be the door for it. And that's it. So, short and sweet, I know, but there's nothing really else to show in these rooms because I've stayed here before, I pretty much know everything in these rooms apart from this is the first time I have seen a triple room with uh, the bunk bed as well. So you can, two people, one people, yeah, person, sorry. So yeah, nice and clean, nice and modern. Great location, right next to Glasgow Central, uh, the train station, if you're unfamiliar with Glasgow. So it is pretty central as well. The price, if I remember, I will put either in the video or I will put in the description for my stay tonight. But it's always changing with the prices, so you never know what the price will be. So always keep looking, keep shopping around, try different places for prices. But yeah, so hopefully that you've found... Oh, it's a bit dark. Hopefully you found that useful and I'm also going to be checking out the VIP suite. So this is probably the best suite that the Hotel Hotel Glasgow has and you just see the view and the size of that room, what it has to offer. So I'm going to go have a look at that, that'll be a separate video. So if you want to see that make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of other videos as well so if it's the first time you're watching my videos I do travel videos, mainly going to be Orlando based. So subscribe, it's free to subscribe, so show your support, really appreciate it. 
like this video, share it to get the information out there for people that want to come and visit Glasgow and have a look at the options for staying somewhere and this is one of them. I do have other videos or other hotels available. And yeah, if you want to follow my journey, as I just said, hit subscribe, it's free to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified and join my community, all my social links down below, Instagram, Facebook, um, all that stuff. So anyway, I am going to go and relax now, hopefully see another video, catch up with you on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Hopefully you're all well, having a good day and I'll see you next time till the next video. Bye bye.